Now suppose you have made these three spreadsheets in the beginning from the beginning you have solar time and solar angles then you move on to to calculate the solar radiation to surfaces then from that you can calculate the solar temperature and then calculate the external heat gains you have the periodic response factors and uh, you went on to uh, type the user defined function that the, the user defined function that you have seen in my previous demonstration video which is called the prf underscore calc and then you follow the example you type all the input variables and then excel gives you this a bunch of uh, error messages it says name so this means microsoft excel does not recognize the name you typed which is the, pr the prf underscore calc function uh, is not yet defined this is a user defined function that has to be programmed in a way so that uh, microsoft excel knows what it's supposed to do with the function the user defined function has been written by someone else so, so we don't have to spend time to do that however we do need to get the user defined function so that uh, we can use them in the spreadsheet that we have developed so let's open the uh, textbook example spreadsheet which has the user defined function and we will get the user defined function from there let's open it now when you open that spreadsheet when you open that excel uh, file it'll ask you microsoft uh, excel will ask you do you want to enable macros that's because the that uh, file has the user defined functions which are classified as macros and we need to enable them so that we can use them so i open the example spreadsheet which has the user defined functions and you can see it shows compatibility mode that means the excel the uh, excel spreadsheet was made many years ago when microsoft use uh, microsoft excel uh, was uh, offering a different version older version so now when we open the that file using the current microsoft excel program it's on it's running in the so-called compatibility mode what we need to do is we need to save it to a the current version of save as and we need to make sure we save it as a xlsm which is a uh, excel file that uh, allows macro under the current version of microsoft excel we save it uh, in this format and we close it we close the file then we reopen the newly saved uh, file the now okay enable macros now this is the example spreadsheet that has been saved uh, under the current version and also uh, re closed and reopened now what we do now is we we can move all the existing sheets that we have made into that uh, uh, that file okay so we save we select all these We select these sheets and we right click. Um, we move or copy. We move them, or you can also copy them if you want to. We move them to the example spreadsheet, which has the user defined function. Okay. Now you can see I have a, a uh, now this is the uh, example spreadsheet, which still has the uh, the older sheets, but now it has three new sheets, which are the sheets that have been transferred from my existing file, and these three sheets are are my own. Now let's see the difference. Uh, previously, these were showing names with a question mark. Okay, so the, uh, the, the 
previous sheet uh, look like this question marks now after I move those sheets into the uh, example spreadsheet that has the user defined functions because now this name prf underscore calc is a the, is the name of a user design defined function so I can do the calculation um, I can also do the other, I can also utilize the other user defined functions that are available and to know what user defined functions are there you can click the menu item that's called the tools and go down to macro and also go down to visual basic editor in the visual basic editor in the visual basic editor you can see all the user defined functions that are part of this uh, spreadsheet the example spreadsheet you can see all of them here let's look at the prf underscore calc you can see there are many comment lines the comment lines tell you uh, provide explanations to the function and so you can see what um, each variable is meant to be and so you can assign the variable the input variables correctly to get the correct result okay now i, I hope this will help you develop the uh, spreadsheet that you need to do with the user-defined fun functions to do the necessary calculation.